looked at layer masks before, but here's a clever way of using them based on the brightness of the layer itself. In this case, we've got a wing which has a proper layer mask attached, and we've already done that for you. What we're going to do is to copy the wing onto the mask. So on the main part of the layer, select all and copy. What we now want to do is switch to the mask. If we simply click on it, well, we're still seeing the main layer, but we're working on the mask. If we hold the Alt key down and click on it, then we're working on just the mask by itself. So when we now choose Paste, it pastes the copy of that wing directly into the mask. And as you can see, it turns to black and white because masks only have a black and white channel. Let's deselect. If we now have a look at the layer, we can see that it's hidden by the mask. In particular, the black areas are almost entirely hidden. Now, what we want is for the black areas to be visible and the color areas to be hidden. So let's go back to the mask again, and you can see by these borders that it's selected, and we can choose Filter, Adjustments, and Invert to invert the mask. Now the black areas are much more opaque than they were before, but we want them to be solid. So let's bring up the Levels Adjustment to do this. Enhance, Adjust Lighting and Levels. When we look at the histogram, we can see this spike. That shows the blackest area of the mask. So if we drag the white slider down to the middle of that spike, we can see how the mask has now got much more opaque in those areas. We're still a little bit too transparent in the mid-tones, so we can fix that by grabbing this mid-tone slider and moving it towards the left. And as we do that, we increase the contrast of the mask, and now that gets more opaque. Let's say OK to that. Now let's switch to our fairy image. There's the fairy. Here in the project bin is the mask we've just been working on, on that wing. So let's drag it into our fairy image. We can move it into place and use Free Transform to shrink it down to a more appropriate size. And we can rotate it slightly as we do that. Now we can make a copy of this layer and as we drag it we can now see the transparency as we can see through it to the wing beneath. Let's move this copy behind, so drag it behind the original wing, and once again as we move it, we can see in this area particularly how the yellow part of the first wing is now semi-transparent, so we can see the new wing through it. And that's achieved entirely by copying the layer as its own mask.